Hello ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Kaczynski with you, working through section S of IXL's Algebra 1 skills. This video is going to deal with point slope form again and we're going to write equations given some information. So here we go, we got point slope form um, is y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1 where m is the slope, constant rate of change, and x sub 1, y sub 1 is any other point on the line. So those are going to be values that we plug in. And that's what we're going to be given every single time in this lesson. Um, this says a line that includes the point negative 110 and has a slope of 1 8. What is the equation in point slope form? So what we do is, let's take the slope first actually. Slope goes right here. At 1 8. There's a fraction option on it, so we can put it in as a fraction. Uh, and then negative 1 is our x value, so that's being subtracted from x in the equation. And then 10 is our y value that gets subtracted from the y. So the only thing that I would change normally if we weren't just filling in the blanks is this minus a negative. I would turn this into x plus 1 instead of x minus negative 1, just to simplify it a little bit. We'll see that here as we work through these problems. All right, so we've got a line with a slope of negative one-third, and it passes through this point, 8, 6. Okay, so let's go y minus our y value, um, which is 6, equals m, which is negative one-third, times x minus our x value. And our x value is going to be 8. And that's our equation. Done. It's that simple. y minus our y value equals slope times x minus our x value. Let's do it again. A line has a slope of 5 and passes through the point negative 6, 3. All right, y minus our y value, which is 3, equals m, which is our slope, 5, times x minus our x value, which is negative 6. So the only thing I'm going to clean up here is I'm going to get rid of this double negative here. And I'm going to make it y minus 3 equals 5 times x plus 6 instead of minus a negative 6. Something you could probably do in your head without showing this step, but I wanted to show where that plus 6 came from. So now we've got a, a line that includes this point and has this slope. All right, y minus our y value. equals m, negative 5 thirds, times x minus our x value. Our x value is 5. All right, anything that we can clean up here? Sure. Got this double negative over here. Make, let's make that y plus 6 instead of minus negative 6 equals negative 5 thirds times x minus 5. There's our equation in point slope form. Then we have a line that includes this point, negative 4, 5, and it has a slope of 6. So we'll do y minus our y value, negative 5, equals slope 6 times x minus our x value, which is negative 4. And there's a couple things we can clean up on this one. Uh, instead of minus negative 5, let's just make it plus 5. Instead of minus negative 4, let's just make it plus 4. And that'll be our equation in point slope form. y plus 5 equals 6 times x plus 4. Should be noted that a lot of textbooks might consider this to be point slope four or point slope form where you subtract five from both sides. And that is equivalent equation, and that's how you'd enter it into a graphing calculator. But this is what IXL is looking for. 
All right, good luck writing equations in point-slope form.